In question 3, the problem statement says AD and BC are equal perpendiculars to a line segment AB. So AD and BC are equal perpendiculars to this line segment AB. Okay, uh, and we have to show that CD bisects AB. So CD, which is this segment, this bisects AB. So because it intersects AB at O, we have to show that OA is equal to OB. So this is what we have to show in this problem. So what we're going to do is we're going to show that triangle OAD, so triangle OAD, which is this triangle that I'm highlighting for you. Uh, this triangle OAD is congruent to triangle OBC. So OBC is this triangle that I'm highlighting to you now. So OBC. Okay, so this is congruent to triangle OBC. This is what we will show. And then we can claim using CPCT that OA is equal to OB. So let's compare triangle OAD and triangle OBC. So in these two triangles, AD is equal to BC. This is given to us, AD is equal to BC. Also, angle A and angle B will be equal because both of them are 90 degrees. So angle A is equal to angle B as both of them are 90 degrees and AD is equal to BC is given to us. And also we can see that angle AOD, which is this angle, will be equal to angle BOC, which is this angle, because these are vertically opposite angles. So angle AOD will be equal to angle BOC because these are vertically opposite angles. Okay. And now we have one side pair and two angle pairs equal. So we can claim that the two triangles are congruent. Uh, and using which criterion? So we can say that the criterion we can apply is the AAS congruence criterion, which is actually equivalent to the ASA congruence criterion. So we have these two angle pairs and one side pair equal. So triangle OAD is congruent to triangle OBC using ASA or let's write it as AAS because the side pair uh, does not fall between the two angles uh, but as I always say AAS is actually equivalent to ASA because if two angle pairs are equal the third angle pair is automatically equal so because uh, these two angles are equal these two angle pairs are equal angle D will also be equal to angle C uh, due to the angle sum property but anyway we can say that triangle OAD is congruent to triangle OBC using the AAS congruence criterion and this means that uh, these sides OA and OB, these are also corresponding parts of the two triangles. So these two sides will be equal and hence we can write OA is equal to OB using CPCT. And because OA is equal to OB, uh, this means that CD bisects AB at O. And that proves the uh, statement that we wanted to prove. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.